Hi, I'm Mark and I'd like to welcome you to my studio today. Uh, I've been sent this pack of Nova acrylic paints to review by the lovely people at Trimcraft. Um, this is a pack of 24 colours of 12mm acrylic paints. Uh, they're a thick buttery paint with a really nice finish to them when they dry. They've got a uh, a glossy finish so I'm going to show you a few things that I've painted with them just give give you an idea of uh, some of the things you can do uh, they come the pack comes with three brushes uh, it's available on Amazon and it's £12.72 for all 24 colours so um, that's a really good price they're all intermixable um, you've got a good range of colours there um, so you can um, mix the colours to produce other colours so I'll just show you my palette here so it's a bit messy but you can see I've got some nice pinks there and I've got a turquoise that I've mixed together there so you can really uh, go to town with your um, colour mixing and produce whatever colours you need really there uh, so to show you some of the things I've done I jumped straight in and uh, just to play around to see what I could do here uh, watered it down to do a soft background and then just dab some flowers on just to play around with it um, and you can see um, you should be able to if the light catches this right get some idea of the texture the paint really holds its texture well <coughs> and uh, just finish with a uh, when it's left at full strength you get the a really good um, shiny uh, finish to it okay uh, but you can uh, water it down if you want to and get more of a watercolor effect so you can see this softness um, in the background and that's just done with a sponge and the same paint and just water mix with it but if you're used to using acrylics and um, use mediums and you can always mix uh, the mediums with this same paint uh, and use uh, other texture mediums and if you want to use it on fabrics, textile mediums will mix with it. Um, and if you want to use extenders or thickeners or other mediums, they'll all be they'll all be able to be mixed with this same paint because it is a water-based paint. So um, it'll all uh, th those mediums will mix with this as well. Okay, so that's one thing I did, and then uh, I wanted to try a, f a few different things. So. Um, I worked on a paint effect with this one um, this is a wooden heart and I used um, the peacock blue here as a base and uh, because it dries with a, a shiny finish I just went straight over with some of the sapphire blue and the violet uh, just kind of smooshed it on there and used a uh, rubber comb to get a, a kind of this um, kind of almost like a diode effect and uh, you could add some glitter or some um, uh, glass beads or something to uh, to get more of a diode effect on that that's that and then I decided to have a go at some cards um, so I came across some some old um, bohemian papers and some bohemian wooden um, uh, die cuts so I used um, the same paints just to see how well I could uh, mix a pink and see how they would uh, colour on uh, smaller items uh, so you can get some quite fine detail with these paints there and uh, these butterflies are also on that sheet uh, and this butterfly paper all part of the same uh, trim craft range from about five years ago I think um, and uh, I smooshed the paint onto some uh, silicone sheet and uh, made that background card to tie in with the uh, colours on the butterflies and kind of tie it all in together so it was that and then I painted some um, daisies on that card just to paint straight on there some quick daisies and again you can see the, that glossy um, finish coming through on the thick, thicker paint and it does hold its uh, in shape as it dries so it doesn't flatten out as it's drying um, I painted onto a glass dish just to see how how well it would paint onto glass and it does seem to stay there it doesn't rub off um, 
I would use that as uh, purely for decorative uh, purposes but again uh, it does paint onto the glass uh, and this um, this item really does show up the uh, the gloss and the texture um, I got the inspiration for this from a um, an item on Pinterest I saw a picture this uh, image and uh, this kind of worked I thought this would show off the the texture uh, of this paint really well uh, so this uh, kind of picked it up really really nicely um, and uh, just a, a real quick uh, demonstration uh, for you with the, um, the paint just to show you how easy it works um, with some uh, I'll just squeeze some of this some more of this violet out on there and some wet so just with a flat brush well this is one of the brushes that comes with the um, with the paints Purple on one side, white on the other. Uh, I'm not blending it. Um, and just one, two, three, four, five. And then let's do a, a little bump there. And if I squeeze out a bit of green as well, so I'll just scrape off my paint, pick up the green, and bring in the stem, reverse it out, add in a couple of strokes for leaves there, and maybe put some other leaves coming out there. And... Uh